morning, everybody. We're on our way to weigh in. And we're late. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. Um, I am just feeling, can I tell you, I am just feeling so, like, fancy today. I don't know. I'm just, I'm like feeling it today. I'm feeling myself today. I got this shirt in the mail from Loft and it is black and it is of course sleeveless, which is a huge deal for me. And then it has like pockets on both sides and it is, um, does it have buttons? Yeah, it has buttons down to about the middle point and it's just kind of flowy in the front and then it's like, um, like a cotton modal in the back, if you know what that means. And I don't know, I just feel, I just love it. Like it is me, it is totally me. And I just have it with my dark jeans that are cuffed and some black shoes or black sandals. I will try and take a picture of my outfit of the day because I am just loving it that much. <laughs> I was gonna wear shorts, but I was like, no sleeves and shorts, Molly. That might be a little too much at one time for you to handle. So I'm also wearing that ring that I bought from Kohl's the other week. And I am starving. Oh my gosh, I am so hungry, of course, because I didn't eat, Woo! I didn't eat all of my dinner last night. I didn't even eat half of my dinner last night. Um, and I did have an apple and I, ha I ended up having some grapes like right before I went to bed because I was really hungry. But can I just share with you the, the proudest moment as a mom, <laughs> a mom to Marley. She ate carrots yesterday. Last night I cut my apple up and I made some PB2 with it and I put like three carrots on my plate for her. The first two carrots, I like just put a little bit of peanut butter on the outside, very little, just so there was like a, a taste to get her hooked and then she would, you know, go in for the kill. And she normally, before she was like licking off the peanut butter and then just dropping the carrot somewhere, but this time she just took the entire carrot and ate it. She did that twice. And then I decided, okay, I'm not gonna put peanut butter on this one, maybe, you know, to see if she'll just take a regular carrot. She ate the regular carrot without peanut butter on it. I swear, I felt like my child had just graduated from college with like magna cum laude or something like that. I was so proud. I was so excited. And Chad's looking at me like, it's a carrot. What's so great about it? But. Oh my gosh, I just loved it. I had to share with you guys because I know you've seen her not enjoy carrots before. So she ate three carrots. Two with a little bit of peanut butter on it and then one with none. Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so proud. I'm just so proud. Um, okay, one other thing, oh, sorry. One other thing I wanted to chat about you with is, does anybody else's significant other or spouse or whatever have ESPN on their phone and whenever anything happens, I, I mean, I don't know, it goes off all the dang time and it goes off in the middle of the night, like so loud. I'm like, can we please turn that off or can we like put your phone on vibrate or something? No, he will not do it. He will not put his phone on vibrate. I'm like, what? Why? If you're so concerned about, what are you doing? Oh, you're turning. Okay, that's fine. Um, if you're so concerned about, I guess, missing his alarm, I have no idea. Like, put your phone on vibrate. Your alarm will still go off and you'll still hear your alarm. And his emails, he doesn't have it so that you have to, like, I have it so that I go in and I refresh it to pull new mail. I don't have it going off ding, 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 ding all day long because I could not handle that. He has it going off all the time. And then it's connected to his iPad, which goes off as well. And I'm like, you need to get your notifications under control because, oh, oh sorry, this is Cray Z. Yes, but it's ESPN and it's like, I don't even know what the sound is. Some sort of do, 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 something really loud. And it goes, I mean, full freaking blast. 
I just thought about that last night. I was like, I have to talk to my people about that because this is so ridiculous. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, so hungry, so hungry. I don't know what my problem was last night. Like, it is not like me to not have an appetite for something. Like what? That, mm -mm. <laughs> that does not usually match up with me. But for some reason, I mean, I just didn't, I don't think I really wanted it to begin with. <clears throat> I was just eating it because it fit in my points. And that's kind of like the first time I've ever done that. You know, like not really had what I wanted at every meal. Um, but I had spent like so many points at lunch, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I had the same amount of points that the day before. Whatever. <clears throat> anyway, so I didn't really want it to begin with. And then I was like, I made it and it sat there for probably five minutes before I even attempted to eat any of it because I just didn't want it. Like, and I didn't have any kind of appetite. It was very strange. But now I'm paying the price because I'm really hungry. It's okay. We'll make it through. I brought a banana and I brought um, one of the pure protein bars to eat at my meeting. I'm going to start with the banana and then if I'm hungry enough, I will have the protein bar. I'm going to try and not eat the protein bar because if I can save five points, then I'm going to save five points. <laughs> You know, my normal plan on a Saturday is go to my meeting, have a banana, drink some water, um, then get my Starbs, and that usually holds me until lunch, and then, you know, I have lunch. So, if I can avoid eating that pure protein bar, I'm gonna. Oh. Guys. Oh, of course I went to sleep at like, I don't even know, 12.45 or something. Ridiculous. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to need a nap later. No naps. <laughs> we know Molly cannot take naps. No, no, no. Um, things. Let's see. We're going to run a few errands today. We're going to go to Michael's. Yay. So excited. I don't think I have anything else. Oh, I placed a few more sticker orders last night. I placed one um, at Jesse's store, Jay Wackers, and then, um, what else? I placed one with, y'all, I can't even remember. That is sad. I can't even remember. Whatever. Three other shops. Or two other. And Jesse's. Because we're having those deals. Oh, my pretty. Or pretty planner. Pretty. My pretty. Something. I think. I don't remember. I'll look it up and I'll tell you later. Okay. We're about to get on the highway. So I will probably see you after weigh-in. Fingers crossed. I don't know how it's going to go. But it's not because of anything, anything I did, I don't think. It's just like, you know, normal circle of life. No, Cy cycle of life. Sure. See you later. Hello. Leaving my meeting. <clears throat> I stayed the same this week. So, once again, it is... Man, it gets frustrating when you're losing so slowly. I mean, goodness gracious, I've been doing this for, what, three full months and I'm down 13 pounds? Like, just for a second, I'm gonna be not happy with that. Okay, three, two, one. That blows. I didn't gain this week? I don't know. I I don't know. It's fine. I mean, it doesn't bother me a whole bunch, but when I start to think about how long I've been doing this and how little 
I have kind of accomplished. It's a little bit annoying. Um, but I was talking to my best friend about it and she's like, she just started, she maintained two this week and she was like, I have to start working out. And I was like, yeah, I'm working out, but I don't think I'm compensating with water like as I should, you know, I'm not drinking more water to compensate for working out every single day. And then also, um, I've been going to bed so late and not getting enough sleep, which can affect weight loss. And also, I'm stressed out, so that can also affect weight loss. So it might just be a combination of those things, and I really just need to work on drinking water and going to bed earlier. Really, really need to. As far as the stress goes, I mean, work is work. Can't do much about that. And I'm doing uh, more now, so. <laughs> um, <clears throat> say my dad sent all the deposits out yesterday so that is like a huge weight that is lifted off of me because now we can like reserve the vendors the vet la the other vendors we have to do still are the videographer and the linen but we haven't even um really seen the linen yet we're gonna I'm gonna have to go back in July and we're going to meet them at the venue to look at stuff on tables to see what we like <clears throat> so but that is it because we are doing the floral ourselves we don't have to pay a florist um we're doing all the table decor ourselves so we don't have to pay i mean that's kind of with the venue they would set up anything that we told them to set up and i'm also i asked a friend to help out that day just to make sure like everything gets put in the exact place it's supposed to so that my mother and I aren't worrying about doing it ourselves. Um, but yeah, we, uh, cake is reserved. It's actually four cakes. Oh, they're gonna be good. One of the flavors is strawberry champagne. Guys, I can't wait. Strawberry champagne, then chocolate with caramel icing then vanilla vanilla and then there's one flavor I have to decide and I don't know what to pick she has a whole bunch so I should look at her list it's actually my best friend's cousin she makes cakes so we're using her and it's four different cakes they're all gonna I want it to look like okay has anyone ever seen the movie Pollyanna <laughs> it is like real old school I watched it when I was growing up as a kid um, and in Pollyanna, it's like, I don't know, like 1800s, you know, like old school is what I'm saying. <laughs> and, um, it's about this girl that I don't really remember the whole storyline. I think she's adopted by somebody or she's taken in. I think it was the woman took in this child. It was her brother's child and her brother and his wife passed away. And so the child was left to, um, this woman <clears throat> and so it's all about like that relationship and and the girl you know kind of acclimating to living with her aunt and um they live in this town that has this festival and the festival like there's this one part in the festival where everybody is bringing cakes in to sell um for like I think it's like a church event or something and it's just it you know everybody brings all these different cakes because of course each person's gonna make a cake differently and decorate it differently and they bring them on all these like pretty little pedestals and stuff and that is what is stuck in my head and that is the look that I want for the wedding like I want all of these cakes to look different so they're all gonna be different size tiers um, oh my gosh I'll I'll have to put in a picture of like one or two of the I just the like inspiration photos I've seen um, and that I've given her um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to look like a whole bunch of people have brought different cakes to the event and it's just like a, like a compilation of cakes. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I can find a screenshot from Pollyanna and put it in. If anybody knows about Pollyanna, tell me down below. I wonder if Cherie knows from Motivated Muffins because she knows about my beloved 
Anne of Green Gables. You don't even know how much I love Anne of Green Gables. Mm. Oh my gosh. Like Anne, I used the term kindred spirits because of Anne of Green Gables. I almost wanted to name my child Gilbert because of Anne of Green Gables. I want red hair because of Anne of Green Gables. I want to, I wanted to wear my hair like they do when she gets older in Anne of Green Gables. Um, they wear their hair like up in a little top knot, but it's like, it's, oh my gosh. <laughs> I just love it so, so much. And it is so like wholesome and it's just so entertaining. And like I would spend weekends as like a teenager just in my room watching that show when it would come on PBS. Like, oh my gosh. It just is such a special, special show to me. I have all the movies and they are, Cherie said in her um, vlog, Cherie from Motivated Muffins. It's Cherie and Celia. And we'll talk about them in a second. But um, Cherie mentioned it in her, one of her vlogs that she wanted to watch Anne of Green Gables that day. And I was like, you did not just say Anne of Green Gables. Like what? We are kindred spirits because you know about Anne of Green Gables. Um, but I own DVDs. And I mean, yes, I would just spend day. I would. Oh my gosh, I have seen it 18,000 times. I love it so, so much. Oh, and Carissa loves it too. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I don't even remember why we were talking about this. Oh, cakes. <laughs> so yes, cakes, I want, and the um, reception is going to be set up like, it's going to be a mixture of tables. So some round tables and some rectangle tables. I want it to feel like, Thanksgiving. Like I wanted to just be super comfortable and warm and cozy and just like, I don't know, not pretentious. That is what I'm avoiding. Yet classy as I'll get out. Uh, okay. Let's talk about the motivated muffins and how freaking awesome they are. Like if you, they have, I think 200 subscribers right now. If you guys have not subscribed to the motivated muffins, I mean, I just urge you to go do it because I love them so much. They are so awesome. And they have known me all of a month, maybe. And they are doing something so special for me. So, oh my gosh, if you have not subscribed to them, please go subscribe to them. Oh, this is a red light. Um, do it because they're fabulous. I just think, oh, they're like, they have already moved up to the people that I watch like when I go into my um, subscription box with all the people I'm subscribed to, I have a few people that I watch first. Everybody has a few people that they watch first and they are one of my people. Love ya. Oh, okay. This is gonna be a long vlog. I was gonna really try not to make it long today. I'm sorry. Um, I had to, I was so hungry. I had to have half of the pure protein bar for three points so far. I'm going to go get my coffee. I need to go to Target to get essentials, boom chicka pop and coffee. And then I need to go to, I'm going to go to Michael's. I'm going to go to, um, Ulta because there's a gel polish that's on sale today. And I really love that brand. And I might pick up some for a friend. And then I want to go, oh, I have to go to TJ Maxx to return something. And then I want to go to Sam's to get my normal fruit, get lunch, probably a Panera today. I don't think I'm going to do McDonald's. I think we can, we can stop with that for now. Um, and yes, I'm going to go get my coffee now though. So I will see you in a little bit. Bye. Hi guys, this is lunch. It's a cup of the Panera broccoli and cheddar soup for nine points and then um, a baguette for four points. And I'm just drinking my water and my coffee and lunch is 13 points. Hey, I am turning into McDonald's right now to get an ice cream cone. 
I am hungry. It is 3.30. I eat lunch around 12.30 and I only had a cup of soup. It wasn't like a regular bowl of soup. Um, so I am really hungry. Very tired. But I'm gonna get an ice cream cone. Cause I didn't go like super into my weeklies yet today. I think I went nine into my weeklies. Um, because of my soup. But I wish there was like a snackety snack that I could get here that's like low in points. <gasps> Let me see how s a small fry is. Ooh, be right back. Okay, so I did not get french fries. But the small french fry is seven points. I was like, eh. So I did get an ice cream cone, which is eight star points. And it was on sale. It was 53 cents. Baller. So I ate that and it was quite delicious. Um, I'm on my way home now. I'm so tired. Oh my gosh. Um, last I left you, I don't remember, but I went to Target for the essentials. Boom Chicka Pop, coffee, also Diet Dr. Pepper was on my list. I got all of those things. They only had one eight pack of my Diet Dr. Pepper and they were three for 10 and then 25% off that with Carwheel. So I only got one, but that's fine. It'll work for this week for sure. Um, and then my coffee was on sale for $4.49, but it was not on Cartwheel. Boom Chicka Pop was not on sale or on Cartwheel. And I also had to get some skincare stuff. So I ended up spending like $70. But I did get a $5 gift card out of it, which is cool. Um, if anyone's wondering, I got the Olay Regenerist. Um, micro sculpting serum and then also the eyes eye lifting serum I think I've been out of eye cream for quite a while and then my I know the serum the all over serum is running out soon so if you bought two of them you got a five dollar gift card and they were actually also on cartwheel for 10% off so that was neat then I went to TJ Maxx to return something, but it was after 30 days, so I had to get store credit. But I didn't buy anything right now. And I also went to Ulta to get some of my gel polish that I love. Guess what? I bought another pink. I did buy a like a blue though. Let's see, it's right here. Well, this is for a friend. Woohoo! Then the, the two I bought for me is a lighter pink <laughs> and it's like a, I don't know, like a mint, it's like, I don't know, like a minty blue green. It looked really cute. It's like, I don't know, we'll see if I can stand it for a week. Oh my gosh, then I went to... to Michael's um, because their washi tape was apparently still on sale and I had a 25% off your entire purchase coupon no matter if it was on sale or whatever. So I'm checking out and I also like a 40% off. There was a 40% off all recollections, embellishments, and washi tape and all that kind of stuff and a 40% off one regular priced item. So I was going through picking up all this stuff. I picked up a bunch of um, those washi stacks, basically, and they were on a display that said color splash 40% off, but it was like the whole thing. And then also in another area, it said the boho, whatever, washi tape type was 40% off. So I picked everything off of those displays. I took it up to the girl. She rang it up and she's like, oh, it's not ringing up. I said, it's supposed to be 40% off. It says it's underneath the 40% off sign. And last week 
my girl there, she corrected it for me. She was like, okay, 40% off. This girl was not having it, so she did not correct it. She's like, well, you have a 40% off coupon for like the embellishments and all of that, so that will, it'll take it off there. I was like, oh, okay. I'm thinking it would take it off of all of the washi tape I had purchased because it was all bringing up full price. Well, no, it didn't. And then um, I used a 40% off a regular price item for like a little paper pack I was buying and it didn't take it off of that and whatever. So I get to my car, I'm looking through the receipt, I'm like, this is wrong. Like it was supposed to take it off all of these things and it didn't and I'm, you know, I paid too much basically so I went in and got everything corrected. But good, pay attention to your receipts and know your coupons. All I gotta say. So I got a lot of good things at Michael's. Then I went to Sam's, got my fruit. Then I went to Joanne's. Just thinking, I thought I had a 20% a off coupon for them for your full price or whatever total purchase, but I didn't. But they take competitors coupons. So does Michael's. So I just used the Michael's 25% off coupon in my Joanne's transaction on top of Joanne's coupons. Coops on coops on coops, baby. So I got a few paper things at Joanne's and like one thing of washi tape. Um, maybe I'll show it in this video, depending on how long this is, or I might do like a separate one, I guess. Then I went to Old Navy because I realized I had super cash so $20 when I spend $50. So I went in there and I got some like swing dresses that were $15 a piece or something ridiculous. And some shoes. Mm. I think once my orders come in, my other orders come in, maybe I'll just do a whole, whole haul of that stuff. I have to go through my closet desperately. I cannot continue to bring clothes into my house and not take clothes out of my house. Must do it. <laughs> then I went to Chipotle, got dinner, and now we're here. What have you guys been doing on Saturday? I have to go home and work on oh, some envelopes, yo. Really gotta do it. Really, really, really. But I want to snuggle with Marley. That's all I want to do is snuggle. She was so snuggly yesterday after my just, you know, kind of like mentally stressful day. I went into our room and she was laying on the bed and I, sometimes she won't let you like pull her over to you and, and let her, you hold her, but she was letting me do it this time. So yesterday I went in the room, laid down and I just pulled her close to me and she kept scooting with me. And I was just snuggling her. Oh, it like melts all of the <laughs> stress away. She is the sweetest. Mm -mm. I did not go to Walmart. I actually do need to go to Walmart to get like the major groceries, but I just, I don't like going to Walmart. I don't know because I almost always end up frustrated because they don't have something I need. So I'm just gonna go to my Walmart maybe tomorrow and finish my shopping. I think I'm gonna make taco soup again, guys, because it lasts forever. And, oh, you know how when you're like trying to be on top of your credit cards and be really good about paying your, your stuff, and then you mistakenly pay it twice? You pay a credit card twice? So I'm like out that money for this month that I wasn't planning on being out of. Oh my gosh, I swear cannot get it together. So, I'm trying to meal plan to be like smart with, you know, what I spend money on at the grocery. So taco soup might be something I make just because it lasts, it lasts for like a week, at least. That's like seven meals. So, I think that's coming again. And it's so delicious. Mm. Oh gosh. Looks like it's gonna rain. I don't really wanna take Marley for a walk today. I'm so tired. 
we'll see. <sighs> okay. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm home now. And I'm eating the goldfish. Well, the rest of the goldfish. It's less than 55 pieces for sure, which would be less than a serving. Um, I'm probably going to call it three points. 55 points is, no, 55 pieces is four points. So I'm going to count it three points. Um, and I forgot that I have to work out today. Oh God. <laughs> Forgot that to work out today, so uh, crap. And I'm probably not going to because I have to clean the house, and I need to get my office organized again. I've gotten all these like packages, and it, they're just all over the place. So I need to take care of that. I will um, just do a double tomorrow. So I'll do Friday and Saturday's work on Sunday tomorrow. Um, just wanted to update you. Finishing the goldfish. So delicious. I look real made up right now, but I promise I didn't do anything to myself because I put my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> it is about to rain here, so it's a little bit dark. Okay, I will check in later. Can I get my hand out of the bag? Hello, guys. Oh, look, you can see yourself. Oh, how cute. Um, okay, I showed you a picture of dinner with my normal Chipotle, 12 points. Then I had 20 baked scoops for four points. Um, so dinner, dinner, dinner was 16 points total. I can't remember how many weeklies I have, 20 something something. Um, oh my gosh, okay. So I got a package from a subscriber, Miss Campbell. Um, she sent it to Melody and Melody sent it to me um, just because I don't have a P.O. box and like I don't know like I'm weird about giving out my information so <laughs> I know I'm so sorry I made it very difficult for her and I really really apologize for that because she was so sweet and sent me something really thoughtful so let me um, let me show you what it was she sent me this book the conquer kit a creative business planner for women entrepreneurs it's so, I mean, it's so thoughtful because I know that I've mentioned before, um, let's see if you can see it, that I wanted to open my own business, I wanted to run my own business, and like, I just, it's so thoughtful. Such a thoughtful, thoughtful thing. So thank you so much for that. And then, she sent me candy! Guys, what am I supposed to do with this? I'm gonna have to put it in the kitchen safe. Like, really kitchen safe it up. Like, I'm going to have to lock it up for a really long time because it's just been sitting in my office for the past couple hours, and, like, I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, but it's, like, Canadian. So the most, it is all Canadian candy. So Smarties, they're, like, um, kind of like regular m and Whoa. Regular M&Ms in the U.S. Um, then these guys. Maynard's Swedish Berries. Ugh. And then, oh my god, these are just, you know, like my favorite ever, basically. Sour Skittles. I love Sour Skittles. Like, so hard. And then regular Skittles. Oh my gosh, this whole thing is 10 points. I looked it up. <laughs> so, yeah. But look, it's all it's spelled um, in French. I love that. So cool. So yeah, super nice present. So thank you so, so much. Uh, Miss Campbell is her, I was going to say handle, like we're in AIM, AOL Instant Messenger land. <laughs> it's her name on YouTube. Um, I don't believe she has a channel, but I'm going to send her a little thank you message too. But thank you so much if you're watching this. I really appreciate it. I did receive it. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Guess what I didn't do today when I got home? envelopes. So tomorrow is like envelope palooza. Has to be. I, I vacuumed and everything. I cleaned the bathrooms today so I really shouldn't have to do a lot other than like some laundry and stuff tomorrow. So I can have that roll in while I'm doing this while maybe I'm filming some tag videos and things like that. Because I have a lot of those to do too. Um, and I am going to try and avoid this candy. 
don't know how well I'm gonna do it because it's candy and it's like my favorite things. What fell? Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching my lovely long Saturday vlog once again. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!